Amid mounting concerns over inflation, President Biden is taking the rare step of releasing oil from the nation's strategic petroleum reserve in an effort to address some recent high gas prices. But as Alice Barr shows us, critics point out relief at the pump won't come soon enough for Americans heading into one of the busiest travel weeks of the year. As tens of millions of holiday travelers hit the road this week, gas prices are hitting the roof. They are really high, you know, and what can we do, you know? Hang in there. The national average today, $3.41, the highest since Thanksgiving of 2013. This is a problem, not just here in the United States, but around the world. In an effort to reverse that trend, President Biden is taking the rare step of releasing 50 million barrels of oil from the nation's strategic petroleum reserve, an action typically used during wartime or storm emergencies. To help provide the supply we need as we recover from this pandemic. The president coordinating the move with other major energy consuming countries, including China and India. It's designed to drive down prices and increase pressure on oil producing nations to boost their supply. But any impact at the pump would likely be weeks away. Critics are going to charge the president with making more of a political than an economic move because a move of this size is unlikely to help oil and gas prices in the long term. Several Republicans are attacking the move. Senator Shelley Moore Capito calling it, quote, nothing more than a gesture designed to, quote, mask the fallout of President Biden's terrible energy policies. My effort to combat climate change is not raising the price of gas. President Biden trying to reassure consumers he's doing what he can to ease pain at the pump as they brave crowded roads and packed airports to make it home for the holidays. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Well, Thanksgiving is the day after tomorrow. So